You know, imagine starting a restaurant. It can be simply overwhelming, yeah. but luckily one of Cleveland's best chefs and most amazing guys in the world is ready to help launch your dreams. Chef Brandon Krastowski here to explain the Edwin's Accelerator Program. First of all, good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Good morning. Chef. This Thanks. is cool because mm -hmm. people, do, a lot of times you, you're like, oh, I have an idea, but you just don't know where to go. Exactly. Well, look, we're here to solve it then, right? Yeah. So it's a real straightforward idea and concept. And the Cleveland Browns are a big part of what we're doing here. Okay. Um, but it's if you have an idea for a restaurant concept, food concept, a coffee shop, bagel shop, whatever your food like dream is, yeah. we're going to help you get there. This isn't for like people who are just starting out. This is for people who are more developed. But we're going to take a cohort of 25 people, run through six weeks like the basics, okay. then take three to five of them and put $150,000 behind their ideas. Wow. wow. So yeah. is this for an individual or is this a group of people who say, hey, I'd like to start a concept? Does yeah. it does it matter? It doesn't matter. That's a good so question. It could be yeah. one I, person. I, yeah. It could be five friends. It could be, it could be 20 friends Bingo. that have a concept. Because yeah. if you guys don't know, and I was just at his restaurant a week ago, I love yeah, your place. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. I always bring new people who have never experienced what Edwin's is about, mm -hmm. that he takes people who have in been incarcerated, most of them convicted felons, and you give them yeah. training and a life skill to be in the restaurant industry, whether it's from greeting people on the door to cooking to... Uh -huh. making drinks, whatever it is. I mean, you have mentored them through all of these incredible programs and then helped them get a job in one of the most successful restaurants here mm -hmm. in Cleveland, and now you're doing it in a different way by exactly. helping people start this concept. So it doesn't seem like it's unusual for no. you to be doing this. <laughs> we're not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what are you looking for? Well, we're looking for someone who's got the chops, right? Who, who's been you know, banging away at this idea, banging away at this idea, but have uh, either hit a wall with the experience and putting a business plan together, we can help break that wall down. Right. Or hitting a wall when it comes to, to leveraging funding. Yeah. You know, we now become a bank who can, who can loan out the money. Wow. And then leverage that for the more money if you need it. The idea is um, there, there's so many people here in Cleveland. We have a great city, right? We have great talent. We have great minds. But um, there's a lot of people who are in the fringes from vulnerable areas that yeah. haven't had that business background. They haven't gone to a four-year, six-year, whatever college mm -hmm. to learn business. And, um, you know, they don't have necessarily the funding behind them. And that's the hardest thing to access sometimes when you don't have uh, a track record. But how do you get a track record if you no one gives you the money? You see, it's right. a, it, it was such a frustration. And, and, and like a number of months ago, I started scratching my head, reached out to our, our team over here at the Cleveland Browns. Um, and, and they said, hey, we're in, man. So they came up with uh, 75000 Cleveland Foundation said, we'll, we'll pledge 150000 to loan out. Oh, my goodness. And, like, and that, now we're rolling. That's so June, amazing. Up until June 20th, you can fill an application. We're making it so easy, uh, but you have to apply. You have to take the time to apply. Was this, was this like you? When, we, when, you were, when you were starting out, I mean, was, were you this, this kind of person looking for that opportunity? Like, I think anyone else, like an entrepreneur, you just like, you're so impatient. <laughs> like, you just want to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the best thing is taking a little patience to make sure you know what you're, you're doing. Or go to a school or find a program or mentor that can get you the, the basics of how to pitch your, your idea, mm -hmm. how to do the business plan around mm -hmm. your idea, how to market it, how to manage it, all those sort of things. But I was ready to go, but I didn't have the experience. Mm -hmm. Right well, experience. and that's what you're, you're taking people under your arm again, as yes. you do every single day at mm -hmm. Edwin's and all of the, the butcher shop, everything else that you do. So you're taking them through the mentorship of learning how to do that. Exactly. So what are some of those categories or those areas? This almost yeah. sounds like a great reality right? show, doesn't it? Very much so. I was thinking so about Someone that. reached out already. I said, no thanks. Uh, really? <laughs> I'm not, I, 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 am, I, was, I was telling Chrissy, I don't even have television at home. It's like, I, would, I, I, I don't like how people uh, would take advantage of someone in a vulnerable spot sure. for yeah. reality TV. Yeah. But it's, exactly. It's probably what you do see on TV. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, someone coming up with an idea. I want to do this. What do I got to learn? And then the, dra the drama of getting through the it. The drama. Okay, so you have until June <laughs> what to apply. June 20th to yes. apply. Applications, it's open now, right? Applications open last week. Yep. All right. Are you looking at a specific area? I mean, obviously Northeast Ohio, but are you, I mean, do you guys have, you're looking at downtown? You're looking at somewhere? Where? Everyone's, everyone's got an idea and got a plan, right? Okay. And so we're not trying to like impede upon that plan. However, we're focused on uh, Cleveland, okay. uh, preferably east side of Cleveland, be a right. little shorter drive to help out, He's right? He's sure, sure. yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So east side of Cleveland would be great. That's like, uh, you know, Mount Pleasant, um, uh, you know, Lee Harvard. Mm -hmm. You're looking at Buckeye. Yeah. Uh, so anything Cleveland, east side of Cleveland would be great. If not, anywhere over Cleveland. It's a wonderful That's idea, awesome. another wonderful yeah. concept. Yep. You are the brainchild of all of that. 
Well, Amazing. thank you. Thank Amazing. you. Now, if we get an application from Fox 8, we'll, we'll, we'll honor We can't play any favorites. <laughs> okay, no, we but won't. But if you have some restaurant ideas. Because I've been thinking about well, this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Brandon, like thank you cook. so much. Uh, we'll get people Amazing. On thank you. Please, You're welcome. Please yeah. visit Edwin's if you yeah. haven't already. My favorite place in the city. It's just so amazing what they do.